Well, here's a current one. <laughs> uh, the recent announcement by Novak Djokovic that he will not compete in the upcoming French Open and Wimbledon tennis tournaments is a shocking and astounding development in the world of tennis. It does make us ask the question, is Novak wrong? What's going on here? What does make it outstanding is the fact that he's one of the two or three greatest tennis players in the world, and perhaps even in the history of the game, and he's given up his opportunity to cement his reputation as the best uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, for many, this makes no sense at all, and, and one is forced to conclude that he has made a huge mistake or even lost the plot. Others would argue that he's a highly intelligent man with uh, enormous accomplishments, both on and off the court, he knows what he's doing, he's completely in command of the facts. So, let's look at the arguments. First of all, let's begin with those who say, yes he is, he is, he is most certainly wrong. Well, the very fact that he has made this announcement and is giving up his probable tennis immortality is irrational. Um, as a result of his experience in Australia and his having had to uh, uh, withdraw from the tournament, uh, Raf Nadal has passed him a number of Grand Slam victories and is now highly likely to become the greatest tennis player ever. He's basically lost the competition. He's well known to be an advocate of extreme New Age health theories. Uh, many of which uh, have uh, long been debunked, especially in Western countries. Just to pick a wild example, he allegedly believes that uh, a positive attitude can transform water at the molecular level. I mean, who believes this kind of stuff anymore? Well, some do, and some very accomplished people do. Also, he's a victim of national or even regional cultural disinformation. Uh, some researchers at the London School of Economics have found that countries with a Soviet Union past, especially in the Balkans, were linked to reduced trust in vaccines. A, a, a Czech academic, I mean, it was not somebody from the West, but from the East, said there is greater distrust and skepticism in the region when compared to the rest of the Europe, owing to a significant lack of trust in government. Uh, vaccination rates in these countries are far lower than in the rest of the Europe, and Novak is just a victim of history, really, when you get right down to it. Also, his wife is, uh, appears to be caught up in this kind of thinking, too. Uh, not long ago, she shared an Instagram video blaming the virus on 5G networks. I mean, there just isn't any basis for that. I suppose she might have been kidding, but I, I kind of doubt it. Okay, no. Well, what about those who say no? Uh, what about those who say uh, no, he, he is not wrong? As he says, he has every right to decide what's going to be put into his body. Can't argue with that. It's a fundamental right that no one can take away from him. And he does have a very impressive body. Um, his athletic performance and accomplishment belies the fact that he does not have an adequate understanding of his own physiology and what's good for him. So, what to cynics might be seen as junk nutritional advice is actually proven truth, especially in his case. So, those are the arguments uh, that suggest he's not wrong, that he knows what he's doing. Well, what's my take on all of this? Well, I must say, I believe that Novak is simply a victim of misinformation and the enormous uh, power of conspiracy thinking and cultural paranoia. It's a, it's a common Europe, Eastern European malady, similar in spirit, really, to that of the supporters of Donald Trump in the USA. There are a lot of them about. Uh, even though he says he does not support the anti-vax movement, he is nonetheless doing the world a disservice by refusing vaccination. Many people will listen to what he says just because of his enormous athletic accomplishment and superstar status. Uh, the fact is that if you're not vaccinated, you're far more likely to die when you get the disease. 
So my conclusion is that he is simply wrong and that he should reflect on the impact of his decision on others. Well, I hope you like that. I suspect that most of you probably will, but in any case, uh, please uh, subscribe, like, uh, comment, uh, uh, notify, and all of that kind of thing, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.